It's probably every homeowner's dream to be rummaging around in the attic and find a priceless work of art. That's essentially what a still unidentified couple claims happened at their house near the French city of Toulouse. Their discovery? What some believe to be a lost work by the Italian Renaissance master Caravaggio. It depicts a graphic scene in which biblical heroine Judith beheads an Assyrian general and is similar in subject matter and style to a Caravaggio already hanging in a Roman palazzo. The art expert hired by the homeowners is convinced the painting is genuine. But first, we know that the composition is Caravaggio. We know that there was a great picture in its time which was of this subject, which, which was seen by other painters. And third, the execution, the masterly uh, execution. And some, you know, a painter has a tics. Is this correct? You know, he, a painter is like us. He has tics. And you have all the tics of Caravaggio in this. Not all of them, but many of them. Enough to be sure that this is the hand, this is the writing of this great artist. Some experts are not so ready to say the masterpiece is real, but the French government is playing it cautious by declaring the painting a national treasure and slapping an export ban on the canvas for the next 30 months while it's examined further. If it is a genuine Caravaggio, some in the art world say it could be worth upwards of $130 million, which makes for some strong arguments about its authenticity. While the painting could turn out to be real, there is as of yet still no public accounting of exactly how it found its way to France nor why it remained undiscovered for a period that its owners say went on for 150 years. Still, few question the quality of the workmanship involved, just the identity of who did the work. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Paris.